Hello, I want to share with you a discovery about the music of the spheres made by saxophone player John Coltrane. I have two diagrams here. On the left is a diagram by the very well-known saxophone player John Coltrane. This is a picture that he drew. It's on a website, openculture.com. At the end of this video, I'll give you the, the full website address if you want to go there. Or you can just Google you know, something about this, you'll find it. So here's a diagram made by John Coltrane where he has musical notes around the outside. If we go, starting at the top, and we go to the right, going clockwise, you'll see that he's got two rings, and he's got C at the top, and then going down is the next note up. He's got every, all 12 notes, all the, what we call half steps in music, all 12 notes. C, C sharp, D, uh, D sharp, which is also called E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, B, C. So there's the octave, and he's got a one, two, three, four, five. So for some reason, Coltrane got inspired to put five octaves, put all 12 notes in five octaves, and then he draws a five-pointed star to connect the beginning of each octave. So he did this in the key of C, probably for no particular reason other than it's the most common key used. He could have used any key. So he put five octaves of notes around in a circle. Why he decided to put five octaves, I don't know, but he did and he decided to draw a five-pointed star co to connect it. This is mind-boggling. In a video that I made, I put the 60 points around a circle. So 12 notes times 5 is 60. So we both put 60 points around a circle. I put 60 points around a circle. Actually, it was not my discovery. Other people came up with the idea, and I embellished and developed upon those ideas, but we put 60 points around a circle, just like John Coltrane. Interesting coincidence that he picks five octaves, decides to put them around a circle, and then draw a five-pointed star, and we have a five-pointed star here. This diagram on the right has nothing to do with music. At least I thought it had nothing to do with music. And John Coltrane independently working from the point of view of music, discovers the same 60 points and the same exact five-pointed star. Really, this is, this is amazing. So let me explain a little bit about what the five-pointed star and the 60 points on the right is. I have an entire video about it. I think it's about a half hour long, and, and I'll give a link to that at the end of, at the end of this video. Um, but what, but just briefly, this diagram on the right is called a Paisano period. A Paisano period is the Fibonacci numbers put into a rhythm or a beat or what we call in mathematics a modulus function. And this is a modulus uh, 10. Uh, this is all explained in detail in another video. What I want you to, to get out of this video, not the technical details, but the fact that there's a rhythm of numbers that creates 60 points. And what I proposed in, in that video is that I believe that these 60 numbers create the zodiac, that the zodiac is created out of number sequences that are given off through a spin, a fundamental uh, property of the universe. What well, all sounds very abstract and crazy, but I'm in good company. <laughs> <laughs> because the the great John Coltrane is dreaming up the same exact kind of ideas, um, and of course coming more from a musical point of view. But he's also got numbers out here. I looked at them; they don't appear to be the Fibonacci numbers, or or a modulus of them. Although maybe that's part of it. I don't know. But he's working out numbers because uh, John Coltrane. This is very well known and very well established studied physics, he studied astrology, and he was very interested in Pythagorean theory and the idea of sound 
connected to physics, connected to healing, connected to, you might say, the music of the spheres, how these are fundamental uh, physical and spiritual qualities of life. I'm doing the same kind of study coming more strictly from the astrological viewpoint and we come up with the same exact diagram. Incredible. Now, what's interesting to me is, from my point of view is that John Coltrane shows how music is in this sequence which I had no idea that musical scales and harmonies are also built into this. I had no idea, but John Coltrane is proposing this, and and evidently, at least from this diagram, not realizing how it's connected to Fibonacci's and Paisano, Fibonacci numbers and Paisano periods. So the guy's intuition and genius for things is unbelievable. That somehow he's coming up with this. He's probably through his studies of physics. Um, and astrology or something has other ideas behind the discovery of this. But let me show you how Coltrane adds a new dimension to this diagram on the right, which I believe is one of the number sequences that creates an, an astrological zodiac. Here's what um, Coltrane notices uh, independently through just his musical orientation is that there are 12 numbers uh, from one point to the next point of this pentagram. Well, I knew that too, but I didn't associate it with the 12 notes of the scale, and he does. So he's saying that the zero is like a, a if we were in the key of C, this would be C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, uh, A sharp, B, C. So those the 12 notes we get to the octave. So he's associating these 12 that lead to the next point in the pentagram as 12 notes of a scale. Then what he notices, and this is really cool, is there's something in music called circle of fifths. And if you go counterclockwise, you'll see that Coltrane has circled in a thick circle the letter C and then G, which is up a fifth, and then you go up a fifth, you get D, and then you go up a fifth, you get A. So you keep going up fifths, and then you get a uh, fifth from A is is E, and so on, and then B, and you just go around, and if you do this, you hit every note, and you get all 12 notes, and then you're back. It's called a circle of fifths. If you're going in the opposite direction, it's actually a circle of fourths. So it's a circle of fourths and a circle of fifths, depending on which direction you go. Um, because C to G is a fifth, and then G to the next octave of C is a fourth. So when you're going a fifth up, you're also a fourth from the next octave. Anyway, it's called a circle of fifths. Well, what he notices, he looks for the circle of fifths, because the circle of fifths is a very cool thing numerically, because fifths and fourths are two of the most basic uh, harmony uh, notes that you can put together and the fact that they form this uh, perfect patterning where you go through all 12 and you get back is very fascinating. So he puts that in there and this is really amazing. What you end up with, because there are 12 of them, is you end up with the cusps of the zodiac signs. So, for example, if this zero at the top is C, and we go to the right, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. So C to F. That's the C and the F he has. And similarly, if we keep going, this would take us up a fourth to B flat, and that's the B flat. So the, the circle of fifths end up at the beginning of the zodiac signs, because there are 12 of them, and those beginning of the zodiac signs as I described in the other video, are zeros or fives. And, and the fives, five plus five equals ten, which is our base. Five is a special number in this, in this base. Anyway, the, the mathematical properties of this sequence and its relationship to astrology is incredible. And I have one main uh, 
video about this particular sequence, and then I have a whole bunch of other videos on the relationship of Fibonacci numbers and Paisano numbers and prime numbers and how they create the zodiac. And Coltrane has discovered the musical scales and basic harmonies are also built into this. And this ties together astrology with music, which is the whole idea of the music of the spheres, which uh, is a Pythagorean idea that Kepler is one of the great thinkers in this tradition. And uh, Coltrane was thinking in this tradition as a music musician. I'm thinking in this tradition um, as an astrologer. And so Coltrane from the, my point of view, from what I understand, has filled in the music part of this, which is really astounding. From Coltrane's point of view, I filled, probably filled out some of the astrology, and I don't know how much of even the astrology might have known since the guy was such an incredible genius. So um, I just wanted to share that, that this this gives us some more information about the structure of the universe, the structure of astrology, and some at least one connection uh, of astrology to music and, and a, a step in understanding the music of the spheres. If nothing else, if you if you find all of this a little bit too far out of the box and too wild uh, and too speculative, it is at least interesting to see uh, that this pioneering work of John Coltrane both in terms of the music that he invented and his intellectual pursuits that fueled a lot of his interest in the music um, how it's corresponding directly to what we see uh, astrologically just if, if nothing else a phenomenal coincidence but I think it's more than a coincidence I think we're finding the various pieces of the puzzle Okay, my friends, I hope you found that interesting. God bless. Namaste.